Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Happy Friday. The problem with our world in a lot of ways and like with a lot of the issues, like whether it be like what's going on even in the Middle East, like the racial issues here, like everything that's going on, like, you know, people, again, whether it be um, like religion and LGBTQ thing, like issues, like all of these things, I feel like we're having the biggest problems and the most intense reactions and issues and everything going on because there are people that cannot look at situations in a nuanced way nuance i love that word everything is layered everything is complex what i mean by saying all this is like when i make my video about talking about the police the first thing i said in my first video is that i want to make sure that it was known that i am not just like anti-police like or it's again it's so much more complex like it's not like i want anything bad to happen to these actual people that are police officers and i can look at it in a nuanced way like in a layered way and still have my strong opinions on it you know like when it comes to what's going on right now in the middle east like with the situation between israel and palestine like in order for people to ever get like for us to ever have common ground no matter what the issue is like people really have to look at it everything in a super layered and educated you have to educate yourself you do you have to educate yourself so that you can have and see all these layers and all these nuances and i just you know obviously i'm not saying this to say like i still have so much educate like the education will continue until i die like you know so don't i'm not saying this like i am you know i think there's various things that i s still am ignorant on myself and ed need to educate myself on but so i mean i can't help but like feel like a lot of the problem is the people who are on the republican right wing kind of side i mean it's not, i'm not saying that in general because there are a lot of people who are liberals or left you know people leftists who are fucking closed-minded as fuck as well and i've dealt with them too and i have a hard time with that as well like I consider myself, I mean, a lot of people would almost consider me somewhat radical, but sometimes I feel like if we are just so radical, like it also is still coming from a place of like, like that's not reality and your, your radicalness, like even though I may like completely agree with a lot of things you believe in, and, but like we have to look at where we're at as a country and as a society and be realistic about what's really gonna happen you know like when it comes to a lot of these issues like when it comes to the police when it comes to the middle east when it comes to like whatever the issue may be racial and systematic racism in this country like there are nuances to everything like everything going on right now that's like been heightened with middle east i mean this has obviously been going on for decades this is nothing new um but obviously this is the latest and intense and the most visible because again this is we are now in an age of everybody having phones and being able to document and share information in two seconds like we've never been able to see before and actually you know see people's day-to-day -day lives and there's people there's things that can't be covered up because it's been spread already and it's already out there like so i mean in that sense like it is different than ever before and everything that's going on like again like you can be pro-palestine and say like i believe that israel is apartheid state i can say that i know that there's layers to it and i it doesn't mean that i'm anti like i love jewish people i don't want anything bad to happen to jewish people i don't believe in any of course no discrimination whatsoever there shouldn't be discrimination anywhere like again like you know i do believe that i think everybody has a right to have an amazing quality of life like of course like no matter what your religion is and what you believe but this is why i feel so strongly about that situation is because they are people are using their religion and using god like anytime religion is being used i feel like like to fight and to like and the thing is it's like oh my God, see like i just can go on a tangent about this because I could now start talking about like the religious side of it like you know let's just remember this is all I'm going to say about religion and I think this is one thing that people forget people who you know are bible thumping like no matter whether you're you know a traditional muslim or whatever the religion is God is still talking okay 
God is still speaking or whatever you call God. I believe that it's honestly all the same thing. I really honestly believe that people have just figured out different ways to like have a relationship with God, but it's still, no matter what you want to call it, it could be so many different names. It is still like there. I think it's all still connected. And, but anyways, like I feel God is still talking to us. So you can believe every single thing the Bible says if you want to believe that, which again, like we have to remember the Bible was written by men, by people, by a committee of people that put it together. Like we have to remember again, nuance, the layers and all the different, like this is all stuff that has to be thought about. And this is again, back to the original point of this video is that this is where I feel like we have such a problem in this country. And I know a lot of people say that we have to be, we have to meet in the middle. And I don't really know exactly what that even means. Cause part of that feels like, like not meet in the middle. If that means that you're just gonna like meeting in the middle doesn't mean not dealing with systematic racism and calling out shit that needs to be called out. Like to me, I don't want to meet in the middle. If that means we're just like sugarcoating stuff and we're not actually like dealing with this stuff that has been like pushed under the rug forever. Like we need to work, get through all of this stuff. Like, but meeting in the middle in the sense that we have to also meet people where they're at. Like, I do feel like I have this almost like different, in a way, like, I don't know, understanding and compassion and just understanding of like how we are, like have been brainwashed for a real, like for centuries for since the beginning of time people have really been brainwashed in various ways but especially you know since the beginning of this country um have been brainwashed and you know it's not just about it's about race and it's about class and honestly class is almost like i think speaks money speaks louder than anything class class is what it's all about from the beginning of this country we have been rain brainwashed so that there is a, so that there can be a ruling class like honestly because if everybody's educated if everybody's feeling good about themselves and not feeling like they constantly need to be fixing this and this and wearing this I mean again we live in this world and this is like I feel like you know the way I think about things is like we do live in this world so I'm not saying we still live in this world and there are things that are fun fashion is fun makeup is fun I love what I do I do. I love like there's, and I have a different, I feel like way of looking at it than maybe some people in the industry, but like it's, I do like I, we're still in this world and we can still have fun and partake in all these things. Like, of course, like, but it's just like, if we at the core, like are feeling good about ourselves and if people are super educated and are our, the, our government and like everything was transparent like if people were able to really know everything that's going on and all the layers to even like our history and the world and how many things the united states has been involved in around the world that have like led to these countries being disarray like in south america see i'm going on a tangent but this is it goes back to the point of like everything is so layered and i know that people maybe don't want to like it's this is a lot and people don't have i know part of it is people don't have the time to get into this i know that it is a privilege to be able to have time to read and educate and it is a privilege i like i know so that's why like again that and that's where the layering goes into this is the layers of how i think about things and how i look at people and i feel like this is our problem is that people can't look at things on these layers and in this like that everything has nuances to it everything like and every person is unique and different and has their own journey and how can we get to a like i just feel like the ultimate goal of living and of the world and of a country should be like i feel like sh i would just think that if like if yeah like the, if i could choose what if i was president and i was con control of this country what mattered the most to me would matter the most to me is people being the healthiest and happiest and having the best quality of life if you're a good person and that's really what you believe you if you really care about your country i feel like that is what you should believe in and so no matter what you need to do to allow your citizens to have the best quality of life and thrive and be happy oh there's like a little puppy i'm like right here outside the pet store um 
but that's what needs to happen and that's obviously not what's happened because what happens is money is speaks louder than anything and money is more important like it's a like you know it doesn't matter if everybody's doing well and happy and this is what a lot of people who are on the left side like people have been fighting for is because like when it comes to myself I really don't give a fuck about money like of course we need money to live like we need money to I want to be able to travel more and I wish I had more money for that like you know and that's like I wish I had more money for more experiences because I feel like that's the stuff that really we should be spending the most money on but again like and even food food is an experience like I will give as long as I have what I need and can still have fun and do my basic normal I don't know things of life like I care more about everybody else like being able to have that kind of life too more than me being able to have fancier things and have more money in the bank and more like you know fancier car and all this stuff like I care less about that than I do about everybody being able to be happy I feel like I am someone who is you know like people who are someone who like I'm really into people's the energy the energy of the world so to me like I would be happier myself the ha less suffering there is going on in the world the less I see this stuff going on the more we can move into a happier peaceful place as a world the happier I will be so I am willing to like money doesn't matter to me it's about our quality of life like when we are again are on our deathbeds that stuff is not gonna matter it's gonna be about our life and our quality of life and experiences and yes that does take some money but I feel like obviously like if our society was in a different place where it was a little more equal and we wanted everybody to feel that it would be easier for people to obtain that and it wouldn't be so hard for people to have that like we are being exploited and we have been brainwashed since the beginning of time and that's again back to like my point about having nuances and layers like that's why I have even like a different compassion for you know like where I grew up in Maine and you know I drive around you drive in the backwoods of Maine and it is there's it's so poor there's so much first of all there's so many poor people in Maine there's so many drugs in Maine and that's just like a lot of states in this country that are rural and small states and kind of you know poor and have like a lot of like very rural areas like people are like I feel bad like you know I have compassion for them because they deserve better too and they've been brainwashed to think that they don't deserve better that we live in the best country in the entire world and nothing could be better and we are lucky to live here which again layers and nuances yes there is some truth to that like obviously now compared to like I mean there's a lot of great things about this country but it doesn't mean that you still don't deserve better and that you still can't challenge what's happening and that you couldn't be more prosperous and happy yourself and you've been brainwashed to think that we need to kill ourselves that we need to work our asses off that you know that if we're like you know certain things are signs of failure and success and that money is all like it's just it's just all like like there's nuances to everything and I feel like that is why we're in this place as a country is that and in the world is that people have a hard time really looking at things from this layered level and then in a realistic way how can we move forward and make policies and per and actually like you know like we're in this place too where everybody is just so like no one even knows what to believe because there's been that fake news fake news was thrown around so much that no one even knows what to believe anymore no one even knows what's real no one knows what's and that's another that's really scary like it's scary we're also in this place where it's like I feel like people really can't decipher between reality and not reality um but yeah this is just me like <laughs> ranting and I don't know having one of my car times um maybe you got something out of this like maybe it's making you think making you think is getting something out of it whether it be that you just think I'm ridiculous and you don't agree with me that's okay too because it's still making you think and that's again we just need to think on different layers and levels and I feel like that is our biggest problem
personally, globally, locally, like I feel like in every layer, like even, yeah, with personal, like that is our problem, is not being able to like really see things on a complex level. Hope you have a good day though. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.